Hey, I'm Ray Hollister. And I'm Brandon Jolly. And this is Deemable Tech. And this is actually our second look at Minecraft Pocket Edition. If you just watched the first look, uh, you found out that, well, our first look was kind of boring. We uh, wandered around in survival mode and pretty much we found some blocks. It yeah. wasn't really much that exciting to find. So we wanted to show you guys something a little bit more interesting. So we're going to show you first off the changes in the interface uh, right on the front screen. And also we're going to show you, we're going to go into creative mode and show you a lot of the new blocks and the new features in it. Now the one thing that if you didn't see the first one that was actually really interesting is that we found fallen logs. Which that is not on PC and is it on any other versions? No, not that I know of. It might be on Pi version, but... And Pi version is for uh, Raspberry, Raspberry Pi. Pi, yeah. So that is really the only really interesting thing we found, other than the fact that there's a lot of new blocks that we've never seen before. Mm -hmm. So, all right, Brandon, you've got the reins this time. You you're got, you got have the video. So show us the new features in the menu. All right, so to start off in the settings, nothing has really changed except for the view distance. You can okay. now select different view distances other than just small or large. Okay. Um, in general, for the older devices, you want to stick two, three, or below. Right. That's the point the developer said where it'll rather make your device run slow or have normal good running. Okay. And now you, you're using my iPhone 5S, which has, you know, the best that's out there currently. So it's, we can go pretty far. Yeah. yeah. All right. Anything else? Not really, um, as far as the regular settings go. Okay. But now we get into the more exciting stuff for the people who care. Okay. In the world creation, you now have an advanced option in the top right corner, which okay. allows you to select old, infinite, or flat worlds. Ooh. Flat worlds are super flat worlds, and okay. that's for, like, testing builds and all that. So, And old would be the old version, like mm -hmm. pre-0.9? Yeah, and the developer Tom, mm -hmm. or Thomas I, okay. something like that. Um, sorry, sorry if you end up listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so the developer, he said that he expects to make it so you can make your old worlds infinite and the old style worlds infinite okay. with that generation. Gotcha. With 9.1. Okay. Right, but so right we, now you can't make yeah, them right, infinite. Right now you can't. Right now okay. it's just a standard old world, which is 560 by 560, I believe. Okay. So we're going to go ahead into a super flat world. And this is just what it is for those of you that didn't know. It's right, really I'll simple. Jump in too. I'm yeah. jumping in as you this time and you're mm -hmm. playing as me. Yeah. There we go. Just a really simple, really easy world to build stuff in, test Very builds. Very awesome. Basically, now, just can check you do out a, the new blocks. Can you do a survival mode in Superflat? Yes and no. Okay. If you have villages turned on, then you can use villages and I'll just survive. Okay. All right. So show us some cool stuff. All righty. So you'll automatically notice we have a new GUI or a new crafting interface for creative mode. Right. So we have tons of new blocks here as well inside of this. Ooh. You notice immediately we'll have the diorite and all those other blocks right there. Yeah. In the the diorite corner. that we saw so much of in survival mode that we kind of got bored with it. Yeah, it was like, you know, this is almost, if not more common than gravel. Yeah. And they got polished diorite, which we, we assumed that there would be polished of granite and, and diorite and andesite. Mm -hmm. And there is, there they are. And there's also now colored hardened clay, and hardened clay, of course. Oh. And a favorite from PC for trading with those pesky villagers, emeralds. Emeralds. And it includes emerald blocks as well. Okay. So, ironically, with emerald emeralds, ore. we can't actually trade with villagers yet. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the ore, but we can't use it. Yeah, they're, they're doing what they did with the console edition. Which, ironically, in the console edition, they just added it in so you can trade with villagers. Oh, okay. So, oh, but I see that we've got, uh, it's a little bit above your screen, but there's a, a new type of wood, acacia log, and dark oak, which those weren't on PC before. I mean, uh, PE. And yeah, there's spruce and birch. Cool. Oh, and jungle log. Yeah. Which, was there jungle log before on PE? I don't think no. there was. Yeah. Yeah, in creative, you had the option to spawn in wood. Okay. Um, from most of these different woods, but they just added in for survival. Okay. So also, if we go to the sword category here, you notice there's spawn eggs. So those are really nice for creative mode because nice. you can test mob farms and mob traps. I see they got zombie pigmen, sp uh, zombies, spiders, slime. Can you tap those, show the titles on those? 
Okay. Oh, and Endermen too. Mm-hmm. And cows. <laughs> Sheep. What else we got? Oh, and you can spawn wolves and mushrooms. And silverfish. And silverfish. Can't forget those silverfish. <laughs> Annoying little critters. So that's pretty much the only thing new on that category. Yeah, if you go into the bookshelf category, mm-hmm. you'll find all of the plant life and such as well, including all of the new flowers. Okay. And there's also the new... We saw mo- a lot of those when we were playing in create- or mm-hmm. survival mode before. And there's mob spawner right there, too. Right oh, yeah. The signs. Monster spawner. Nice. So you can find mob spawners now in survival, like zombie spawners or skeleton spawners. Okay. That's cool. And so that's, glowstone. That's about it for the Was new... Was there glowstone in... Yes. You got it from the nether reactor. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And lily pads. I don't remember lily pads. Were they? No. No. Okay. So that's about it as far as the Wait new... Wait a sponge. Box. I don't remember sponge, sponge before. Sponge was in there. It's creative it only. Okay. Hmm. I don't remember. Cool. Okay. Yeah. That's... Mump spawners are kind of... Yeah. <laughs> All right. I can see like those being used if you could get them. But like in creative, I can see those being used as doorways. Where they're like these... Spawners? Yeah. Yeah, because they don't actually spawn anything in creative mode. Oh, right. Um, so I can see them being used as like doors and all that, because they'd make pretty cool chain link looking things. Like imagine two of those. Oh, okay. That's I don't know, it's just build, the builder part of me. Yeah. Sorry, we're going to go ahead and exit back to the main menu. And then we're going to go back and create another world. Go back to the advanced. So... The final the final feature as far as the new updates is the infinite worlds. Mm-hmm. Which heads up the developers have warned I said this in part one, I think. Yeah. The developers warned please do not use these on single core devices, which right. are iPhone fours or older. Right. Also iPad one. And the four S I believe yeah. was also yeah, a single 4S. core. The five was the first dual core. Mm-hmm. iPad twos, however, and iPad minis and mm-hmm. iPad mini retinas are all good. Retina. Oh uh, yeah, retinas. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. Retina. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Retina, let's go. <laughs> All right. So, All right, so but right now the iPhone 4 can get uh version 0.9 and it has infinite worlds on it, but mm-hmm. it's not good for their for their phones. Yeah, right now you can get it. The developers said they were working on removing it though. Okay. Cuz a lot of people have apparently had corrupted devices. Okay. All right, so we're going back into an uh, infinite world now. Mm-hmm. Oh, so speaking of, I just went back into the survival world. Oh, yeah? So something that I noticed on the first look that I didn't say anything about, I was mm-hmm. kind of sad about it. The developers had said that we would get an ability to change game modes yeah. inside of the games, and that that didn't make it in with a few other things. Yeah. That was kind of sad because I was like, Yay, I get to cheat now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is one of the nice things about PC. And you, even on console edition, you can mm-hmm. change it from from uh, survival to to creative mode. Which, yeah, it's cheating, but... Yeah, I mean, I know, like, for me, I like the challenge of building in survival. Sure. But by the same token, I like building, not collecting. Right. And it's nice to cheat sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty much it as far as the new features in Algo. You've seen the new box, so... Do you want to see if we can find a... um? Another biome? Yeah, actually. Go into an infinite world? I keep the buttons are so small I kept tapping the <laughs> wrong buttons. All right, so you want to create a new one? Yeah. Nope. You yeah, do survival? Infinite by oh, default, yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Wow, that's actually wonderful because we spawned in right inside of a village. Oh nice. Alright, and this is definitely new for 0.9. This did not exist oh. before. Oh, and it's got a farm farmland. And speaking of, it has water bridges, which is exclusive oh. to PE. Water bridges. And that's like that's those wood planks that look really bad between the buildings. <laughs> huh. There's also like there's a farm up on this hill. So, yeah. Very cool. We're in one of the new biomes, which is a mega taiga, and that's a colder biome. It's also set up now so that all the biomes like they're. They're all set up based off of temperature. In other words, you won't find a desert right next to a snowy biome. Okay. Or at least that's the hope. Do you see what looks like a gun floating in the air? I'm not sure where you're at. Okay, yeah, turn to your right. I'm flying towards it. 
<laughs> you see it? Yeah, it looks like the PP2000 from Battlefield Office. <laughs> <laughs> How random it just spawned. <laughs> this is like Pandora. There's just <laughs> mountains in the in the air floating. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really neatly placed village. Oh, I just found a bunch of pumpkins. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah, I love the generation of this. Oh, wow. If you look over to your right and up above mm-hmm. this mountain, that's some amazing generation up on top of that hill. This is the kind of stuff that PE players are missing out on. Like, this is absolutely amazing. Oh, I just <laughs> found a cave, too. Ooh. You see where I'm at? Uh, I'm looking. I see you. Yeah, okay. Follow me. Nope, it's just a hole. All right, well, tell you what. Come over to me. Mm. Don't fly too low. Good old trick for creative. You can just dig straight down. Mm-hmm. You have almost a 50% chance of running into a cave with PC generation. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, caves are that common. They're really common, at least in this biome. Oh, which, by the way, heads up, if you're digging down, you can break bedrock in creative. Oh, that's so right. It'll be kind of hey, bad to fall out of the The wall. only time <laughs> you die in creative. Yeah. Oh, lapis. Yep. Oh, yep. I just fell into a lava pit. Oh, and you're dead. You're not dead yet. Can you fly? Yeah. Okay. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot more lava than I've seen in, in uh, PE as well. And even though it was in PE before, right? Yeah, but previously it was a custom generation, and it was kind of like Cactus. You had a very good chance of not finding it in your world. So like, or a very bad chance of finding it. Would be an easier way to say that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, Sorry there's to a... be the the grammar police over here. <laughs> wow, this is wild. I'm I'm well. You're burning up. I just looked over at your screen and saw. I am on this plateau that is floating in midair. This is a pretty cool world. You're gonna have to share this so I can play it when we get home. Mm-hmm. Uh, wow. Yeah, I you, love you the have generation. to come come where I'm at and and show their listeners this. This is amazing. I this think is I'm very Pandora esque. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. I'm up above you. So yeah, come up to where I'm at. It's it's fun because there's trees <clears> on it too. <throat> yeah, and it gets even better as you fly through here. I think check this out. See, that is so awesome. The generation is really, really gorgeous. Like, that's incredible. You know, like, I'm, to be honest, surprised they were able to add this in. People have requested for it constantly, but when it comes down to it, the complexity of it, like... Oh, I think I found wolves. Uh, nope, those are flowers. <laughs> 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 oh, man. I feel kind of stupid. <laughs> I did find a cave, though. You did? Yeah. Alrighty. Pretty good cave. There's ravines now too, which ravines are the caves that like are visible from ground oh, most okay. of the time. Where are you at? I lost you. I'm coming over to where I think you are. Are you coming around the mountain when you come? <laughs> There's a lava pit right by you, right? I uh, did not see a lava pit. There's water. A lot of water. Can you fly up? I am flying. I don't see you. I will. Place a uh, p- words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not anywhere. Oh, I see you. Okay, I'm, I'm, I was looking right over you. They were right. You were right under me. Oh. Alrighty, going in the cave. There's oh, no wow. potions yet, unfortunately, but but developers did say that potions and redstone and enchanting should be coming by a 1.0 update. In other words, there's a lot of exciting features coming soon. Let's see. It's a lot easier to go caving in creative mode. <laughs> yep. Partly the fact that you won't die. That's always helpful. So I'm going to assume since this way just goes up, it's a dead end. Yep. Oh, here, here, here. Which fine. There's a hole in the ground that goes down to a deep part of the cave. Oh, okay. Which is ironically really cool that there's like random holes to get deeper. Like, 
Oh, I found gold standing on the butter. Nice. It's butter. Uh, some I've seen some iron as we've been going. Oh, there it goes. Yep. This is interesting. I've been noticing as I've been flying around, mm-hmm. every once in a while the device likes to freeze for a few seconds. Really? Yeah. I know, I'm in an underwater river. Mm-hmm. And it stopped. Let me see if I can't find some torches here really quick. Light this up. I think I might be in a ravine. No, I'm just in a cave. <laughs> oh, and I reached a dead end where I'm at. I reached a dead end too, but I found more butter. No, here's it's not a dead end. Yay. So this is pretty cool for a Pocket Edition. This is stuff that we had all along on PC Edition, but Pocket Edition was kind of getting the short end of the stick. Yeah, it was kind of like, too, after all the server stuff that we mentioned earlier, Yeah, I'm really excited to be able to hop onto this. You know, I don't play on that many servers, but that kind of, like, bummed me out, because, you know. Yeah. Oh, I found a nice little lava fall here underground. Oh, very cool. I'm just going to walk right through that lava, because I'm creative. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Oh, dead end. Oh, here's some butter. I found some gold, too. This would be great if I could switch to survival, survival <laughs> mode. Now, why would you need to find it, though, if you're in creative? True. <laughs> you just place it. Exactly. So I see that there's an end portal. What is that? There's nothing you can do with it right now. It's okay. a creative only thing. But the end portal, it's mm. that's how in PC you get to the third dimension, which is the end, which is where oh, okay. the Ender Dragon is, which is the ultimate boss. Okay. Kind of exciting because that means that the developers are also, by 1.0, hopefully going to be adding in the end. Hmm. Or some version of it. They still haven't added in a full nether yet. So. Okay. Well, anything else cool we can show these folks? No, not really. I mean... All right, well, let's wrap it up then. Thanks for tuning in and checking out our second look of Minecraft 0.9.0. And I found more butter. More butter. (laughs) (laughs) All right, I'm Ray Hollister. And I'm Brandon Jolly. And this is Deemable Tech.